and the green is a lot darker than what I thought. Like it just looks darker than what it looks on my container. Welcome back to DIY Beauty on Purpose. My name is Leanne Evan. I'm so glad that you are here with me today. I have for you five very beautiful DIYs. All these DIYs have a spring theme to them, but you can certainly make them any style, any color you want to fit your style and needs. I'm gonna take this board and I am going to clean it off. It's been in my garage for a while and it had all kinds of dust and stuff. So I just wiped it really well and then gave it two coats of regular household latex white paint. Now I'm going to take my painter's tape and I'm just going to uh, just make some stripes. I am going to use the width of the tape as my guide and I'm going to do that all across the board. I'm going to use a dry rag to just make sure that the tape is nicely placed on the board and hopefully avoid as much bleed through as possible. Now I'm going to take this bare chalk paint. This is in their cream mint and it's beautiful, but you're going to, as you saw in the beginning, it looked a lot lighter than when it dried. So I was looking for a lot lighter green tone and I thought this was perfect and then it dried a lot darker, but Anyways, I think it turned out fine. So I'm just going to paint it. I'm actually just going to give it two coats or actually just one coat and then let it dry. See some of the lines and I'm okay with that because I am going to distress it quite a bit and hopefully it lightens up a little bit. Like I had some... Um, paint lift up here but again I'm, I'm okay with those imperfections so I'm just going to sand it and see how it works out I am using a 150 grit sandpaper in my electric sander and I'm just going to focus on distressing the edges really well but also making sure that I am distressing the middle part the color the green color I want it to be distressed but not completely where I can see the wood I just want the green to be toned down just a little bit and actually give it a little bit more of a farmhouse look I'm going to dust it really well and then I'm going to start applying a vinyl cut that I made using my Cricut and I'm just going to place it to the right side of the board this is one of my favorite scriptures in Isaiah I love the song and I just thought it would be perfect for this so I'm just going to place it to the right side of the board and I did go a little overboard and I placed it way too far right and then as I'm placing in a little bit so flowers, I placed them way to the left. Like, what is wrong with me? <laughs> so anyways, I think in the end it turned out fine. Well, let me know what you think. Do you think I should have moved both of them a little bit more to the center? Let me know in the comments. All right, so I'm just applying it here. As you can see, I used my transfer tape. And here we are. I'm, I'm going to put some of these faux flowers to the left side of the side. Do you see what I'm talking about? I feel like there's too much of a gap in the middle. And I feel like if I would have moved the words and the flower just a little bit to the center, it would have looked a little bit more even. But in the end, I think it's beautiful. I love it. It's one of my favorites from today. Let me know what you think in the comments. All right, for the next DIY, I am going to take this little wooden house. It's like a sign, like a board. And I got at the Target dollar spot. It was $3. Now, I usually don't pay this much for it, but I just thought I've just never seen a little house one and it's already planked and I loved it. So we're going to tape the inside because we're going to keep the inside in that nice off white color. And then we're going to paint the outside in this beautiful green. It is by... Um, Amy at home and gosh I can't think of the name but I'll have it down in the description box and I'm just going to give it one and a half coats basically it's one full coat and then a little bit of touch-ups here and there where it needs it 
If you have not visited my brand new and updated Etsy shop, I highly encourage you. I have tons of farmhouse style decals with free shipping and I'd love for you to visit it. It is linked down below. As I was lifting the tape, it did bring some of the paint off. Can you see that? Now I left it as is because I always love a farmhouse distressed look. But of course, if this happens to you, you can always paint over it with white. All right, now I'm going to take this tiny little vase that I also got at the Target dollar spot. It was three for three dollars. And I'm just going to make a couple of dots and then drill holes. And then because we're going to place the little vase and tie it there to the bottom. Now I am going to use this A Maker's Studio Reusable Mesh Stencil. Have you ever used these reusable mesh stencils? They're like a game changer. I love them. And I'm going to have a link down below. It's an affiliate link that you can check out and um, purchase these mesh stencils. Lovely. Love it. So I'm going to use this little one here. It came in a little bundle of like five or six of them. You can see them there. And I'm just going to use the same paint that I used earlier from Amy at Home, which by the way, the sample bottle of paint I also got at a maker studio. So again, it'll be linked down below. So I'm just going to use my squeegee and I am going to start applying it. And it's basically just filling it in. You're just stenciling it. And I think it's, it's almost very satisfying. I really enjoy the process of doing this with the squeegee. So once I had it all done, I removed the stencil and you can reveal the beautiful design and it's just so easy to use. And of course you can wash it and reuse the stencil. How cool is that? All right, now I'm to the little vase. I'm going to take some jute string. I'm just going to tie it really snug around the neck of the vase. And then I'm going to thread the jute string through the little holes we drilled earlier. And then I'm going to tie it on the back. And then I'm going to use just some full little pink flowers that I got from, um, I think it was Dollar Tree, yes. Um, and I'm just going to put them right inside of it, arrangement the way I want. And that's it for this one. What a beautiful way, such an easy DIY to just use something that you I purchased at the Target dollar spot, add a few little details, and voila, a beautiful spring decor that you can use on your mantle, console table, or anywhere you would like. My friend, I want to let you know that today's video is in collaboration with my friend Donna from Creative by Nature, DIY and Decor. Her channel is filled with tons of DIY inspiration for you. I hope that after you watch this video, you check out the link that I have down below in the description box and pay her a visit, watch her video. And if you love what you see, I hope you join her YouTube family as well. She is so talented and I'm sure you're going to love her content. For my next spring DIY, I, I can't believe I forgot to hit record. So I kind of noticed in the middle of the painting, this little wooden tray I got at the Target dollar spot as well. It was $3 and had this beautiful wooden tone. Now I had already used this for a Christmas DIY and it had a little bit of hot glue that I was left there and I peeled it off and it was kind of like a little bit, it peeled off some of the stain. So I just painted it with one pretty sloppy coat of Rust-Oleum chalk paint in the linen white. And that's because I wanted it to have a distressed look. I did distress the edges using my electric sander and a 150 grit sandpaper. Now I'm gonna use some painter's tape and I'm just gonna make some ticking stripes to the side of the tray. This is gonna be such an easy DIY. This is another one. Uh, the paint that I'm using here is also by Amy at Home and I did, I did get it from A Maker Studio. Again, that link is, is, that link is linked down below. Oh boy, okay. So I'm gonna, uh, once this, that, that one dried, I'm gonna make another one a little bit thinner, but I am going to make another one right next to it so I have two stripes. And it did have a little bit of blue through, so I did have to touch it up with a little bit of paint. This is also a sample little paint there from um, Amy at home. So I'm just going to touch it up and clean it up a little bit. And then it's time to add these little jars that I got at the Target dollar spot. There was two for three dollars, and I love the green. I'm, I've been really into this, like, like I don't know, like natural green color. I love it. So I'm just going to add some boxwood to one of them and then a pink flower to the other one. And that's it for this one. Another very easy DIY. So just if you see something at the Dollar Tree, Dollar Store, or even Target Dollar Spot, and it may not be exactly your color, just remember you can always paint it, add details, and it can be customized to your style.
this is going to be another easy DIY and it's going to be part one of two because we're going to use it later. These little wooden blocks from the Target dollar spot, they were $3 and I'm just going to paint the front and give them a couple of coats of that Amy at home um, white paint and basically I'm just going to just paint them. That's it. I did paint the edges of this one because they were brown, but the other two were light color. So I kept them as is and I gave each one three coats on top. Now I'm going to take this other mesh stencil, reusable stencil from a maker studio, and I'm just going to place it towards the bottom of the three blocks. So I place the blocks vertically. I'm also going to use some gel art ink that um, a maker studio has and i'm just going to start squeezing it right onto the mesh stencil once again the three blocks are not joined together i just placed them right next to each other as snug as possible placed the reusable stencil and now i'm squeezing the ink on it and that way the little boards can be placed either as joined together or as separate as i want so i'm going to remove this stencil and reveal the the artwork and I think it's beautiful I love it now in that little space above I'm going to place some of these little faux flowers from the Dollar Tree I'm going to join them together with some jute string and then I'm going to hot glue it to the top of the blocks and that's it for this one another super easy one so customizable to your style and I think it turned out beautiful and we're going to bring this one back here on the next DIY For the next spring DIY, I'm going to take this Target dollar spot board once again. This one is a little bigger than the first one. It's just a rectangle, but it's also planked and I really like the way it looked, but I am going to paint it white just to match my decor style. I'm going to give everything two coats of the white paint from Amy at home. And I'm using this brush. This brush is actually new to me. I do have it on my Amazon store. I'm kind of loving it. It's really easy to use and it applies really easily. So if you want to check it out, it is in my description box and just visit my Amazon store. I distress the edges using my palm sander and a 150 grit sandpaper and then I'm going to use that same scripture as before and I am just going to apply it right onto the board but this time I'm going to do it vertically not vertically horizontally instead of vertically and once the decal was applied then it's time to bring back those little blocks that I did before the DIY before this one and I'm bringing them back because I thought it would look really cool and just another way to show you how versatile you can make your decor and make it look very custom. I'm going to take the little blocks and I'm going to drill a hole right in the center and then I'm going to screw in one of these little hooks that I get on Amazon. I do have them on my Amazon store. It comes with a ton of them. You can see it right there on the right side of the screen. I'm going to do that to all the little blocks again right in the center. You can measure if you want. I was just eyeing it out and I'm just going to um, screw in the little hook now the drill bit that i was using was smaller than the actual hook so keep that in mind if you're going to pre-drill holes just make sure you go a little smaller so that then the hook has something to grab onto when it's screwing in i'm going to do the same thing to the bottom of the board and this is so that we can screw in three other hooks and then attach the blocks to the hooks also, if you have an Instagram page, I'd love to connect with you there. I post daily different things that I don't necessarily post here on my channel. So I'd love for you to check it out and follow me there as well. It is linked down below. Another thing you want to do is switch the little hook. I almost forgot to do that. So I am going to just remove it and place it over here so that then we can hang it on the wall on the right side. And we are done with this one. Now tell me this is not a beautiful sign. I love it. It's also one of my favorites from today, but I love to hear which one is your favorite. I'd have to pick the first one with the stripes and this is a close second, but let me know in the comments. 
I am so excited for this video. I hope you got inspired. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you're visiting for the first time or if you are visiting from Creative by Nation, I hope you enjoy the video and I hope you consider joining our YouTube family. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. I have a playlist and a video here with tons more of inspiration for you. Check it out. Don't forget to visit Creative by Nature. It is linked down below in the description box. I'll see you later and have a blessed day. Bye.